Courtney says it took her nearly a year to save money to buy a car. But a few months ago, that money went missing. Oh! She was devastated and says the only person who could have stolen her money is her own mother, Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly, your daughter thinks that you stole her money. Yes. That's got to feel yeah. pretty bad, huh? Yeah, it feels real bad. Yeah. Real bad. Um, what would make your daughter think, um, as in her words, that you have sticky fingers? I don't know what would make her think that because this is the history of me and her. She is, we're like this. I mean, me and her are just close, been close, still close right to this day. Yeah. Anything that she ever needs, ever wants, I'm there. I, I give her whatever she needs. So for her to actually think that it would be me, the day of this happening, I knew nothing about it. Right where she's talking. You didn't know that she was saving up for a car? Didn't even know. She had told me a while back, she says, I'm going to save up some money. She never told me the amount of how much money she was saving. I, I had no idea anything. The day that she called me, she was at work. I was off. And this is how it all went. Like, I pick my grandson up every morning, take him to daycare. Her boyfriend, I take him to work. Same routine every morning. I work third shift. So uh, me doing this, what I did, I turned around, I said, hey, before you shut the door, I need to use your bathroom. Same routine. Went in there, used the bathroom. My grandson, he's falling right behind me. Came out the door. He shut the door. We went on our day. She called me that evening and said, can you believe the money's gone? And I said, what money? What money? She was like, the money that I was saving. I said, well, I didn't know you were saving any money because you're getting money from me every week. You give her money. I give her money every week. Why when do you I give her give... money? That's, that's how they do. You know, my daughter is the type when she knows when I get paid. So if what it, you said third shift, what do you do for a living? I'm RN, registered oh, nurse. Oh, there you go. Yes. So you. Well, I came over there to the house. When I got there, I said, "Well, what's going on?" She said, "Well, I'm asking the neighbors if they seen anything, if they seen a car, or anything. What are the neighbors saying?" The neighbors said they saw a red car. What I color have is a red yours? Car. Yeah. So I said, "Ah, oh, well, okay then." I'm going to park my car right here, go get that neighbor, go see if this is the car that they saw. All of a sudden, they're not at home. So I said, well, what, what happened? I mean, well, I called my boyfriend. He said he took $20 out, and he's going to replace it. Oh. That's all he took? That's all he took was $20, but he's going to replace it. OK, so we sit there. And it just kept rumbling and rumbling on. I'm like, well. And just, what, did she tell you where she kept the money? She didn't even tell me what, you know what? I asked her, I don't even know where you kept it. This is what I told her. I don't even know how much you got. I don't even know where you kept it. But who else was in the house? No one, just us, just us. So, you know, so that, this does strike me as very odd because here your daughter, who you're very close with, uh, has the sum of money uh, taken, stolen. But you have a very good job. Uh, you, you, you obviously, nurses make uh, good money, yeah. which they should, because yes. good nurses worth their weight in gold. Yes. Um, so why would you steal her money? I mean, I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm starting to believe, like, because, you know, we do this story. It seems like it happens a lot. Yeah. Why would you do that? And I told her, I said, what, and what she Because it's not a lot of money. Right. Like, it's not. Not that any amount would be all right. Right. But, like, it's not $10,000 on there. Exactly. And, and the thing about it is, when you were telling me that you were saving this money, you were still getting money from me. Right. You know, you're getting money from me, and this is constantly, like, every week, you know, I'm, yeah. it's, it's for something. And I give it to her because I and have my grandson. how old is your grandson? Three years old. Three years old. Yeah. And, and that's my heart. Right. My heart. Yeah. And anytime she says he needs something, I'm there. So does this hurt you very badly? Yeah, it pisses is no more than his father than hurt. You know, it pisses me off because... Uh, when did this come up, uh, the stolen money? About, um, about a month ago, about I think. About a month ago. Yeah, yeah. Here she is. Here's Courtney. Okay. <laughs> I know you took the money. You're the only one I told. Too many red flags, the red car. The next door neighbor said they saw you. The, ne ne the neighbor saw her? Saw the red car. Oh, the red car, but not her. Yeah, the red car. What and kind of red car? 
They just said a red car. Okay. I asked them, I said, have you seen anybody here any time today? They was like, just a red car around 9 or 10. I was like, 9 or 10? I'm at work. My boyfriend at work. My son at daycare. She third shift. She the only one off. And did she know that you were saving the money for the car? I told her, like, the day before. Yeah. What did you exactly say? I called her to my job. I said, Mom, I got to talk to you. I just found out I was pregnant. We've been saving up for a little while for a car. And now we're kind of changing the plans of what we want to do with the money. We're going to Because you got a child coming. Right. That's when yeah. I told her. OK. The next Did you tell her how much home. it was? I never said how much it was until the okay. day of. She said before this incident, you guys were like this. And you still are. Yeah, we still. You're, this is your mother, super close. Yeah. Right. Even if she stole the money, right? Not, I mean, if she stole the money, I no. No. And that's the lie. But she says she gives you money every week. No. She doesn't give you money every week. No. She's lying about that? She just gave me money. She gave me like $20 yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but not every week. I give her money. You give her you, money. How you give yeah. me money? I give you money, mama. How you give me money? You stayed with me for a year. And okay, you just moved I, okay, out. okay. I stayed with y'all to help y'all. No. I stayed with y'all to help y'all get on y'all feet. No. That's what I did. I left a place that I had to help them out. No. That's what I did. And she then just she moved got out and, two then, and then she got pregnant. Oh. I'm three months. And I had, How did yeah. you find out the money was gone? I came home from work, looked under the bed, and it was gone. That's where it. you hit $1,000 or 700 yeah, Under your bed. Yeah. We because just moved if there, somebody breaks into a house, they're never going to look under the bed. <laughs> it wasn't a break-in. No doors kicked in, well, no I'll windows put, broken. My point is, if I'm hiding money, I'm doing a little better job than that. You want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Contact the show now at 1-888-STEVE-07. You came home and you looked for the money. Yeah, I came home because I was finna put 150 up. So it was gonna be 850. Yeah. And you said, "Oh, yeah. where's my money?" Gone. Gone. Right. And what's what? What? How did you act? I started crying. Yeah. I started rambling the place in the closet. Start looking. Then the first person I called was my boyfriend. I said, "Did you move the money?" He said, "Well, I got twenty dollars out this morning to get a pack of cigarettes, but I'm gonna replace that when I get off." I said, well, OK. Who else, who I was here? He said, it was just me, your mama, and our son. I said, what happened? He said, she used the bathroom with the door open. I said, with the door open. With him there? Right. He said, she, after he, she did that, he went on the porch. Okay. And when he was on the porch, she yelled out, the car running, it's just going to take me a second. Y'all can go ahead and go to the car. That's a lie? That is a lie. He was already right there. Did you come back and use the bathroom like you said? What I did, I used it that morning. See, when I get off from work in the morning times, this is my routine. So it just so happened I didn't. I went straight on in there and I said, hey, let me, let me use the bathroom a minute. He was standing outside waiting to shut the door for me to come out. My grandson and me came out of the house together. Okay. When he shut the door behind him, I don't have a key to her house, none of that. Once I'm once I'm gone, I'm gone. Okay. There's no reason for me to but come back. But if she stole the money, see now I'm I'm start, like at first I thought no way she stole the money, right? Right. But I'm thinking maybe she did. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just telling you, right? Because you said there was no kick door, no forced entry, right? How else could you get in? Through a hole in the floor. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Well, I, I, I use my key walking in like a yeah. normal day getting off on a Friday. I mean, listen, yeah, but how else could I you don't get want in? you to steal the money. Because he shut the door and he locked it. Now, so how else could you the, get you in? Would, you would have to At say. At this point, it's it got to be, be between your mom or your boyfriend. Right. Oh, she well, did not. not, she, not. She, she, she immediately scooted him away. Did your boyfriend do it? No. No. She said that quick, didn't she? She we had to quick. put, we had to say, it was his money too, right? Right. He's putting his money in the pot. Right. Okay. When this happened, we had to put. We so he'd be to stealing dope. from himself. We'll be put out together. Okay. Basically, he got right. nowhere to go once we got put out. Right. Kimberly took a lie detector test. Who thinks Kimberly stole the money? Not a lot. There's what five or six of you. All right. So most people think you didn't steal the money. Mm-hmm. Does that make you feel good? It does. It really do.
Did you take your daughter's missing money? She answered no. Regarding the missing money in the shoebox, did you take it? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Kimberly did not tell the truth. <laughs> See, I did start feeling it, right? <laughs> start feeling it. You stole from your own I daughter. I did not. I didn't. Yeah, you I did. did. No, I didn't. You did. I did not. You did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did. How did I get in? How, how, she stole your that's body. What I'm saying. How, how did I get in? I know. I how knew did. It. How did I get in? How did, how did I, how did I get in? You used the, the bathroom. bathroom with the door open. The door was open. How could I have done that? We, do, we just did a show with a mother whose son was killed, right? We do a lot of serious stories. This is money, and you'll make more. I know it sucks, and you get money stolen from you, it sucks. But in the big scheme of life, you're OK. You know what I mean? But I do wonder, I mean, how is she ever going to trust you now? How am I ever going to? Have her to think that it Stop was it was not money. me. No, Stop I, her money. I, I never did get it. Never got her money. No. I don't need her money. The other thing that I forgot to mention during the course of the show, you have been telling everybody you saved up a thousand bucks. Nobody really knew how much it was except you and your boyfriend. That was my trail. And yeah. then me. Hold on. Wrote to you and said, "Hey, the seven hundred dollars," and you had never told him how much never that was. Never told him. Okay. Never told nobody to do that. Not even your mom. Not even you your mom. You, you just told me. You just told you me. I told you, you that day. You, you told me a thousand. thousand. You said it before when I asked you that you didn't even know she was saving up the money. I just. She just never told me about it. She <laughs> just told me about it. <laughs> and I didn't know I wanna, until she told I, I me. I want to take a step back. You talk to your mother. I have nothing to say. Literally. Are you done with your mom? I mean, I can never be done with my mama. I'm okay. pregnant. I'm still going to have questions later on in my pregnancy. You need your mama. I need my mama. But this is just Well, this is what this is. But I didn't take your money. And I'm going to steal right to this day. You stole from your daughter. No, I did not. And with that, get the hell off my stage. And I sure did. Just so everybody knows, mm. she took the test three times, oh. and she failed it three times. Wow. Um, and Dang. you know, I would hope that certainly uh, this relationship does not, because like you said, having your mother, uh, having your parents is a big thing in your life. You yeah. kind of always need them no matter how old you get. It's nice to have them in your life. You just got to put your money in a, a better place and keep valuables away from your mother. I know yeah. it sounds crazy, but if she has that problem where she knows where there's money and she's taking it, you really need to make sure that she doesn't have access to it. Um, I really hope you're the best. Good luck to you.